if you're looking for a chainsaw to cut things around your property, I think this would definitely do it. Today in this video, we have the Craftsman 8.0 amp, 14 inch electric chainsaw. Now, if you're like me, you have a regular chainsaw, oftentimes it's hard to get started or it just doesn't want to start. So I thought, you know, for trimming up some things around my house, I thought, let's try this electric, normally about a hundred. Sometimes you can find it for 65. I actually was going through Lowe's one day and I found this on sale, 9.99. And I'm like, $10? Wow, I'm gonna try this chainsaw for $10 and see what it'll do. And I was thinking that is one great deal that I just picked up from Lowe's. Let's open the box up and see what we get inside of it. They do give you a cover to go on your blade. It's pretty lightweight. Feels pretty light to hold. We're gonna go ahead and take this off, see what we get in here. This would be where the chain is. Chain's already come, ready to go. This all looks really good. Tighten this blade, taking the bottom piece right here and turning this so that it tightens. So that's how you would tighten this blade on this one model. I think that's pretty good as far as that goes because this is electric, you don't have this forward stop or anything like that. It looks like they have a little thing here if you wanna hang it up in your garage, you just pop that up. And when you're not using it, you put it down. All we need to do now is add some bar oil to the top here. Pro Select Bar and Chain Oil. You gotta make sure you always have some of this in here. That's gonna help lube up this chain right here. And you don't want to run out of that because if you do, this won't be working good and it'll be a disaster for you. There is a window here. You can see how much is in there and you definitely don't wanna overfill it. Once you get pretty much to the top, don't go all the way to the top, it's not necessary. your safety button to get it started once you get it started release it now all we have to do is get an extension cord and plug this in I want to make sure you keep your cord back away from this what I would do I would wrap this around and I would make a little knot so that in case you were to drag this around you don't accidentally pull this out let's start it up see what it sounds like We have this one stump so we're going to get our saw and we're going to cut into this and we're going to see how well it's going to cut this log now this log is about it's about 10 inches so we want to cut this down so it's a little bit easier to manage one of the first things you always want to watch out for is this cord don't get it near this blade make sure your cord is back out of the way We're just gonna come this way. Oh. 
there we go this is a palm tree so it's kind of hard to cut through these to begin with but this all did it it cut right through that let's come over here and try like a four by four uh that i have sitting over here let's see how well that that works so i have this four by four here let's just cut that down That's sawed right through that. Pretty easy. I really like this chainsaw so far. Now the only disadvantages to this is it is electric. You will have to plug this in. I have a long cord. I have a 100 foot cord. So it'll reach around there. And then my other places, I also have some more uh, places I can plug this in. And it would work great. I do have a couple things that I need to take care of in the pool area so i'm gonna cut some of that down and let's see what it does there a lot of people like this stuff by their pool we do not so i end up having to cut this down and so that's what i'm going to do now i want to try to take the most off of this as i can so i can drag it out and not have a big mess go in here and cut this in big pieces and that was really easy to do All right, another big piece. I have to say, this seems like a really easy way to trim this up and super fast. You can see how easy it is and how fast it was to use that. I didn't have to go get gas as it just plugs in. A little bit of bar and chain oil and you can cut this stuff down really fast and really easy and so I'm, I'm liking that a lot usually when i when i cut this stuff down it's a lot more involved like effort to use a just a saw or some clippers to clip them off but this is way easier and it's extremely fast so i really like that So we've almost got all this taken down. Now you're just gonna want to watch your line here. See the minimum? Make sure you have the bar chain oil in here. You don't wanna run out of that. So just keep an eye on that. Okay, it's looking good. We just got a little bit left to do here. Okay, that looks good. It didn't back down. It did a good job getting through all this. That's about as close as I can get without taking a chance of hitting a rock or something. So that's going to have to do it. The rest will have to come out by hand. I just have one more of these on the other side. And that'll be it for over here. Time to get this side. As you can see, we cut this down and we got rid of it. Now we just need to load it all up in our wheelbarrow. All right, I got our wheelbarrow. We got it all cleaned out and into our wheelbarrow. I would recommend this chainsaw to anybody who wants to do maintenance around their house without the cranking on a regular chainsaw because I do have a regular chainsaw it oftentimes is really hard to get started but this is plug and play so you plug it in and you pretty much just go at it you just can just start chopping down what it is you want make sure you wear some safety glasses you should be wearing gloves 
and some boots something to protect yourself make sure you wear pants long sleeve would be preferable when you're doing this kind of stuff so if you have the proper ppe and you have the proper cautions put in the place you can do this around your house really easy is this something i think that you should buy i do especially at 40 or 60 dollars i think 100 there for like 120 there might be a slightly better one i do think battery is really good how long that battery lasts i don't know so when you're dealing with batteries on certain things obviously this is limited to what it can do it's not going to be cutting down big trees in your backyard but it'll definitely do maintenance around your yard and i think that's pretty important for a lot of people so i would recommend this craftman 14 inch it's only eight horsepower but it had a lot of horsepower though to cut through the stuff that i gave it and now i think it looks amazing i cleaned up my yard a lot i just did it in no time it was really super fast and I really like that. This would probably work on hedges, anything you want to cut. Uh, palm tree limbs off would be another great way to use this as we have a lot of those things here in Florida we could use this for. And so yeah, I would highly recommend this. I, I would think that anybody looking to buy a chainsaw should definitely look into like their $60 plug-in chainsaw. I think that's a fairly good price for a plug-in chainsaw in this category. So yeah, yeah. I think that this would work. I, eight amps is all that I needed to cut down all this stuff. And I went and cut that uh, palm tree piece I had. I cut it in half. And that was, um, what was it, 10 inches? That was, 10, I believe it was 10 inches. We cut that in half and that makes it easier to haul to the street. So that came in really handy. That's pretty much it. If you don't have one, pick one up. If you like our content, make sure you subscribe. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you click this link on your screen now, you can follow us over to our next video and I'll see you over there. Booyah!